Paul, we're here at uh, the Budacom uh, um, uh, Research Conference, and you did a presentation on uh, on Russia, and in particularly the political sort of uh, uh, effects on the telecommunication situation in uh, in Russia. Can you uh, tell a little bit more about that? Yes. Well, basically, the telecoms industry in Russia is like many other large industries in that unfortunately when it comes to Russia it's heavily influenced by what is happening in the Kremlin, who is in power in the Kremlin. Now the impact of that is that it creates legal uncertainty so for the telecoms industry when it comes to investment the investors are not sure about what will happen and, and when there's any uncertainty people are unwilling to invest. What that means for future direction is that it really does depend on what's going to happen in the, in the Kremlin, who's in charge, and just what, the future, what their future direction is. And if you uh, look at the, that sort of a situation and the uncertainties, does it mean that there is nothing happening at the moment, or very little happening in, in, in Russian telecoms? No, that, that, that's, no uh, there is quite a lot happening. I mean, um, there is a lot of private investment. But uh, unfortunately, a lot of those investors have reported that um, when it comes to operating conditions in Russia, there is a lot of uncertainty, and so that would have an impact on any plans that they have. However, the market is large, and there is a lot of market potential, so a lot of, a lot of investors have charged in, and there is investment. So despite the uncertainty, there are investors who are willing to take the risk because of the, of the major potential rewards, and so investment has taken place, is taking place, and will continue to take but, there, but the fact that the legal environment is uncertain, that will always be hindrance to investments. And talking about the future, does the go government actually give directions regarding telecommunications and, and its future? There is a... The major problem is that the incumbent telecoms are still majority owned by the government or controlled by the government. And so... As we've seen in many other countries, whenever the incumbent is still majority owned by the government, the government is less likely or less willing to uh, encourage competition. And uh, so I foresee that that will continue to be the case in Russia. Okay, thank you very much.